Hi there. Today we're going to be installing Dura Ceramic Tile. Dura Ceramic Tile is a vinyl alternative to ceramic tile. Okay, first thing we did was we took out all the appliances. There's a washer and dryer here. We took out the utility sink and we took all the cord around up from around the edges. Now one thing that really separates a good job from a so-so job is undercutting the door jams. So that your tile fits nicely underneath the door jam, giving it a nice finish. So we're going to use our undercut saw, which if you're just doing this at home, you don't want to spend a lot of money for an undercut saw. You can just get a little hand undercut saw for about ten dollars from your local box store. Make sure you always put your eye, eye guards on. You cut it. There you go. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, next step, very important step. You need to get this floor clean so that the glue will stick to it, there won't be any bumps in it. What we'll use is our horsehair brush. We'll start from the corner and sweep towards the door. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, now we're going to figure out our layout for the tile. Um, we measured the length of the tile with a grout line, it's about 15 and 3 quarters. So we're going to come off the wall. We measured across here, and three tiles are going to fit inside of this wall right here. So that would make it look nice and neat over here. There's going to be a piece in the back that's going to be about a little bit more than half a tile, which isn't going to matter because it's going to be underneath the washer and dryer and in the back of the closet. So when we look in the room, we're going to see a nice straight row of tile. So we're going to measure off this wall. We're going to leave about an eighth of an inch and our 15 and three quarters and make a mark. And we'll come down here, and do the same thing down here, and make our mark. And then we're going to take a chalk line. And there's our chalk line. Measure from the front of this from the doorway to the back wall. And we got lucky, exact tiles will fit across here, but we're gonna have to start right here, just barely past this line, which if we put a piece of tack strip and a team and a track right here, we'll be able to get our T molding to cover the edge of the carpet and the edge of the tile. Okay. Okay, we chalked our line, now we're getting ready to glue the floor. We're going to use this uh, Dora Ceramic DS100 Dora Set Adhesive, which is made by Congolium, and that way we don't have to worry about any uh, manufacturer claims not working out if something happens. I don't have to glue. We use a recommended trowel. I believe this is 1 32nd of an inch. We'll start from the back of the room. And Get some glue on the floor. Go ahead and glue it. We're going to go, go ahead and glue the entire room. We're going to have to let it set for about an hour before, until the glue is tacky and before we can start laying our tile. Okay, we've let our glue set for about an hour. It's tacky, it's not coming off on our fingers, so we're ready. We'll find our line, start our first tile, and our mark here and here. Be real careful when you set this stuff, because once it's down, it's down. All right? Next tile, we're using about eighth inch of a space, so we could use spacers. Usually I'll just eye it, but if you're doing this for your first time, you might want to use spacers. Right on the 
one. Okay, we'll do all our, our field tiles and then we'll do our cuts around the sides. Alright, now we're gonna do our cuts. What we do is we'll take a tile, lay it on top of another tile. Take another tile, put it on top of this tile. Let's pull it away from the wall a little bit. We'll give a little space for a grout joint. Take our knife, score it, break it, and put our tile in place. There you go. A little space right there. The quarter round will cover. Alright, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, now we're gonna grout the floor. One thing with this uh this is the grout that we use, especially for the Dura Ceramic. One thing about this grout is you want to just, you don't want to use it like a regular grout that you use on ceramic tile floors. You want to get it just as much as you can right in the joints and not on the rest of the tile. So I'm using this little paddle. Get it in the joints. The reason you don't want to get it on the rest of the tile is because it is a bear to clean up. Okay. I'm going to take my sponge and go across it one time. Cross it again. Take my sponge, got a nice clean bucket of water. Rinse my sponge out really good. Kind of clean the tile around it. Just try not to take any out of the grooves. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, got the sink hook back up, washer and dryer in place. Our floors are all grouted. Quarter round is up. Doors are hung. We've got a finished job. Just want to say thanks and have fun with your floors.